Pakistan has the F-16s of Block 50 and 52, however, the most advanced version of F-16 is Block 7072. F-16 Block 52 does not have AESA radar, AESA radar is only installed in F-16 Block 60 to 72 variants. In comparison, JF-17 Block 3 easily be comparable to F-16 Block 60. America has sold F-16 Block 60s to the UAE with an APG-80 AESA radar installed in them. This radar has a range of 110 km to detect the object of 1 square meter and 165 km to detect the object of 5 square meters. JF-17 Block 3 is installed with KLJ-7A AESA radar. This radar has a range of 170 km to detect the object of 3 square kilometers, which is better than F-16. In this way, JF-17 Block 3 is installed with pretty decent radar. However, the range can also be increased of this radar later on. F-16 can be equipped with AIM-120 AMRAAM. AIM-120 is still considered one of the best BVR missiles ever made. If we talk about AIM-120D which is the latest version of AIM-120 made by the USA has a maximum range of 160 km. It has a speed of Mach 4. American fifth-generation aircraft are also using AIM-120. JF-17 Block II current variant has already got a wide variety of weapon packages whether it is air-to-air -air missiles or it is air-to-ground or anti-ship missiles. But if we talk about new air-to-air -air missiles integration in JF-17 Block III, Block III will be equipped with PL-15 and PL-21 which have a range of 300 km to 400 km. These missiles have a speed of 4 to 5 Mach. Both missiles have anti-jamming capability. Anti-ship missiles that can be equipped with F-16 are very less capable than the Chinese anti-ship missiles. F-16 can be integrated with Harpoon and Penguin anti-ship missiles. These are only subsonic missiles and have got very less range according to the current age. If we talk about the JF-17 current variant Block 2 has already got a wide varieties of anti-ship missiles. This includes CM-400 AKG has got a speed of Mach 4 and a range of 400 km. It is also called Carrier Killer. C-802 is a subsonic missile with a range of 200 km which is still more than any of the F-16's anti-ship missiles. However, JF-17 Block 3 will be able to fire next-generation anti-ship missiles like HD-1 and CM-302. HD-1 missile has a range of 290 km and this missile is capable of striking at land and sea targets. This missile is very difficult to stop like BrahMos missile, because it has double the speed of BrahMos which is 3.5 Mach. And if we talk about CM-302 has a range of 290 km and a speed of 3.3 Mach. China has claimed that this anti-ship missile is one of the advanced and most capable missiles in the world. This one missile can destroy a 5,000 tons warship. This missile can also be used for land attacks. JF-17 Block 3 will be equipped with a modern and advanced electronic countermeasure system just like the F-16. However, the Block 2 variant of JF-17 is already equipped with a KG-600 electronic countermeasures pod. KG-600 is a very powerful electronic countermeasure pod. KG-600 can trick and deceive radar and even the radar-seeking missiles. China has made an even more advanced electronic countermeasure pod KG-800 which is going to be used in JF-17 Block 3 later on. JF-17 Block 3 will be way better than F-16 in every scenario whether it is radar range or it is a weapon package. JF-17 Block 3 will provide the edge to PAF. However, in some ways, F-16 is still better like payload capacity or more hard points, but in modern warfare, these things do not matter a lot when you have got better radar, better weapon package, and better electronic countermeasures. If you like my content, then like and share the video, press the bell icon, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.